And just remember, every time a notification bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Hey everybody, welcome to December. Tis the season for the cheers, no, tis the season for the beers. We're gonna be doing three, maybe four decent good holiday beers. Honest, true, these beers are insane. All right, let's go. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for coming and, and viewing this video today. Uh, it's great to see all of the new folks viewing. It's also nice to see a lot of our uh, repeat subscribers, right? This, who watch all of our stuff. But you, you over there, not you, you. You're my favorite. Thank you. Thank you for commenting and thumbs up on all these videos. Love it. Double feature today. Double feature. So I thought maybe we would do a Ruby Redbird, but this is a summer beer. This is a low carb, pretty nice beer. So you're going to have to wait on the review on this. Don't worry, there'll be more. Today, we're doing Shiner Holiday Cheer. So Shiner is a very, very unique beer. They're really nice to give us a gift. Our gift to you. What is this, you may say? What is the gift? The gift are six cans of Bavarian-style dark wheat brewed with peaches and pecans. Not pecans, pecans. Every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner, Texas. So you have to say pecan so they won't give this to you. And this is their gift to us. Seasonal holiday cheer. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. I got them in cans. I, I don't know if they make them in bottles. Because I like to hear that sound. Oh, we got our mug. Got a nice caramel uh, looking color to it, right? Very nice. Wow, you can smell, you can smell the peaches. And I guess the other scent must be the pecans. Uh, I haven't really uh, taken a lot of time to uh, huff pecans. But I definitely know what peaches smell like and they're in here. It's nice, uh, creamy head, soft. Nice bitterness. Mmm. Wow. This is... Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. Most holiday beers are about cinnamon and allspice and ginger and gingerbread, if you remember last week or the week before. This is peaches and pecan. Great combo. Great combo. But right off the bat, I didn't think that this was Christmas beer, even getting a buzz with your cuz. It's nice and dark. It's, it's very unique and it's good. I like it. So this is 5.4% alcohol, which is nice. Tis the season for the cheers and tis the season for the beers. Let's go ahead and rewind here a little, bit, a little bit and learn about Shiner, the brewery, the Spotsil Brewery, who did it, where they were, and what put them on the map. This wasn't their first release, Newsflash. This and the, the, many of the other smaller brews that they do, very impressive. It's a, a nice family run operation. I highly recommend you visit it, but let's get in front of the tree and learn a little bit more. Why in front of the tree? Because holidays, that's why. Here we go. Hey guys, hope everybody had a great holiday. Uh, when I go home to Texas, about 70 miles south of the Austin airport is a little town called Shiner. Now, sometimes they say it's halfway between San Antonio and Houston, but I like to think of it as just south of Austin. And in the town of Shiner is something great called the Spotsil Brewery, and they make Shiner Bach amongst other great beer products. Very interesting, small town, small independent brewery, opened in 1909, 
by uh, Cosmo Spatzel, who is from Bavaria. So this is an American style Bach. It's a, a lot lighter. You'll see, see that in a moment. There's a very nice, clean, fresh scent. Nothing really jumps out as being, you know, bitter or flowery. It just smells like a, like a really good beer. Cosmo, much like many of the other German immigrants, brought this you know, beer-making craft from Bavaria to America. But he did Americanize it, which is nice. They still use uh, German hops um, inside of the beer, as far as I know. See that? It's not as dark. It's actually uh, more of a caramel, which is nice. A lot of box people start thinking like really super dark and overbearing. This one is everything but dark and overbearing. It just has a really nice, clean taste. Now, I'm told from the brewery tour that they first started brewing this in uh, 1913. So it does have a very long history, been independent the entire time. As a funny side fact, um, if you Google uh, Scheinerbach, uh, Sam Adams actually has the first hit. So big, uh, big breweries trying to push little ones around. This is just a good, honest, clean product uh, with a lot of pride in it. And they've been doing it, you know, basically for uh, 100 plus years, meaning that uh, they're doing something right. This has such a nice, uh, slightly sweet finish. Uh, this would go great with pizza, with burgers, fries, or uh, a pretzel even, or maybe nothing, just by itself. Uh, give Shiner a try, 4.4% alcohol, so it's not going to uh, knock your socks off, but it's not a glass of water either. Um, another fun fact, Shiner's population is uh, 2,069. 2,070, when I roll in, I think of it as a second home. So if you're in Austin area or in Texas or in the South period, great place to visit. They have tours, um, I think, seven days a week it's like five dollars you get a bunch of free tastings afterwards well they're almost free it costs you five bucks to do the, the whole thing and uh, they have a really really robust line not all of the things are shipped nationwide some are just in texas so i hope to see you there thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed slash we enjoyed making this and just remember every time a notification bell rings an angel gets its wings so subscribe, hit that bell, give an angel its wings, like and comment, and we'll see you next week.